What's up, everyone? Welcome to Fancy Smack Talk. Another week in the books. Hopefully, all his teams are doing well, getting ready for the fancy playoffs here in a few weeks. Let's get into these waiver wires heading into week 10. Let's talk about the must ads in all leagues. Isaac Redmond's first guy I'm going to talk about, only on 50% of leagues right now. It's just turning into just a bigger mess out there with Pittsburgh. But until this mess gets figured out, I think Dwyer, Redmond, and Mendenhall are all worth stashing just until we see what happens. Because the running back that does end up being the guy out there is going to have value. So Redmond looked good week nine. You got to pick him up because of it. Some receiver must adds. Kenny Britt, I was shocked to see he's only on 65% of leagues. You know, I really kind of surprised that that many people have given up on him. You know, I know he's coming off the big knee injury. He hasn't been that great this year, but I like his chances down the stretch. You know, he hasn't looked that great, but I think his knee might start coming around towards when it counts the most. I think Kenny Britt still has enough talent to where he's worth at least stashing in most leagues. I think you pick him up in all leagues at this point. Danny Amendola next. Looks like he's going to be back from, inj- from his injury. Only on his 65% of leagues right now. He's been dropped in a lot of leagues. He needs to get picked back up. And then one other guy I want to talk about is Brian Hartline. You know, I'm only calling him a must add in PPR leagues, but with the schedule that Miami has coming up, they play Tennessee and then Buffalo. Hartline could be in line for two straight good games. I really like Hartline if you're in a PPR league. I think he's a must add. And then one other must add player, I'm going to talk about Carson Palmer. The guy's only on 50% of leagues. He is having a really good year. When you sort by quarterback stats and sort by points or passing yards, however you want to do it, and look at percentage owned, he's surrounded by guys owned in 100% of leagues, 80% of leagues, 95% of leagues, and he's the lone guy owned in only 50% of leagues. He's having a great year. Now the injury with their two best running backs, they're going to ask him to do even more. If you all don't like your quarterback, if you got Romo that's making you mad, if you got someone on a bye week, Carson Palmer is putting together a great year. He needs to get more love in the fantasy world. Let's talk about some people that people to add in deeper leagues. First one I want to talk about is Bell, the running back for Detroit. I think he's a must add in PPR leagues. You know, he's in a pretty heavy timeshare right now with LaShore. You know, LaShore is still the main guy out there as far as getting the carries, but Bell's getting a ton of work in the passing game. I think he's a must-add in PPR leagues. He seems to be a safe 8-12 to 12 point play at this point. I like him moving forward. Another guy to look at in deeper leagues is James Starks, only on 15% of leagues. Packers didn't bring anyone in before the trade deadline. You know, Green did slightly outplay Starks week 9, but Starks got more carries. So I think we might start slowly seeing a changing in the guard out there. Green just isn't that good. I see him more of the as they're passing running back out there, I see Starks as their early early down guy. I think he needs to be owned in more leagues. Only 15% of leagues right now. All right, now let's talk about the Oakland situation. I had Goodson on my bench in a couple of leagues. McFadden goes down, you know, which I predicted. I was just a couple of weeks off. I mean, but how hard is it to predict that, men, that McFadden's going to get hurt? I looked like a genius for a couple of minutes, and then Goodson got hurt too. Both of them have high ankle sprains. Really tough news because it turned Goodson, who would have been probably worthy of using a number one waiver on, to it just turning into a huge mess out there with Oakland. You got Reese, and then you got uh, Taiwan Jones out there. You know, in standard leagues, I like Jones a little bit more. I like his big play potential, but I don't think he's going to get enough touches. But in PPR leagues, I like Reese. You know, they use him a lot in the passing game. You know, with Goodson and McFadden both out, look for his touches to go up even more. And don't even be surprised if they bring in another running back. They sign somebody just to get some more depth at that position. I don't know. I think Ryan Grant's out there. Who knows? They might go out there and get a veteran. And then it's just going to turn it even to more of a mess. So as of now, I, I don't mind these two guys to pick up in deeper leagues. I just don't expect a lot from them. It's just really turning into a mess right now. And if I had to take a guess... I would say Goodson will probably be back before McFadden just because of McFadden's injury stuff in the past. But it's a mess. Stay away from it if, unless you're really desperate. Another guy to add in deeper leagues, Brandon Myers. We've been talking about him a lot on this show. And he's just kind of like Carson Palmer, not getting any respect in the fantasy world. Only on the 20% of leagues. I know a big reason why he hasn't been picked up in a lot of leagues is only t- he had no touchdowns heading in the last week. So out of your tight end, you know you definitely want to see him getting in the end zone. But he had two week nine, so it puts him on the map. I feel at this point, if you have you know Finley or Pitta or Rudolph, you know you definitely need to start looking at guys like Myers. I think he's a great pickup. He's been a big part of that offense. 
Let's talk about some pickup and plays this week. I got a lot of them for you. First one, I really like Devon Best in PPR leagues. You know, I'm kind of all in on the Miami offense, Miami passing game going going over forward for the next couple of weeks. Tennessee is awful. And I really think Miami is going to have a decent game week 10. I think Devon Best in PPR leagues is a great play. Tannenhill is my next guy. Again, Miami going up against Tennessee week 10, Buffalo week 11. I like Tannenhill for both those weeks. If you're in two quarterback leagues and you're looking for a guy, or if you have a, a quarterback on a bye week, I like Tannenhill the next two weeks. I think he has a big upside. Pick up and play defense for you. Pittsburgh going up against Kansas City. Pittsburgh's only owned in about they're only they're only about 75% of leagues right now, but if you're in a must-win situation, I really like the idea of using a decent waiver number on Pittsburgh and even potentially try to do a trade for him just for this week. If you have to win, we saw what San Diego did to him last week. I think Pittsburgh does the same thing to him this week. Kansas City's offense is terrible. Look for Pittsburgh to have a big week. Miami is my other pick up and play defense. I'm kind of all in on Miami on offense and defense in that game. Only on the 60% of leagues right now. They're at home. Going up against ten, going up against Tennessee. I, I, Tennessee's offense hasn't looked that great. We saw what Chicago did to them week nine. Pretty gross. So this is just a portion of the list to see the full list. Get onto the website fancysmacktalk.com. And if you have any questions, please post them in the forum.